but I think probably the funniest thing and most difficult thing that happened uh, during the first episode was uh, something happened in the last scene um, between Vivian and Aunt Jody, where uh, Vivian's coverage, my coverage got, I don't know, erased or something. Um, so we had to reshoot it about a week after we shot the original one. So what you see on the show is actually shot about a week apart. Barbara had to go off and get married. So <laughs> I ended up acting opposite Susan Miller, our executive producer, and um, she was actually also my first Archibald and my first Aster. <laughs> and so she's uh, quite versatile as an actress. I guess for me, the uh, biggest challenge was disguising the fact that I'm a real klutz, whereas the character's, you know, a New York City firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> The funny kind of like behind the scenes thing that I remember at uh, episode one is that we we're basically like gorilla shooting in Battery Park. And so every time like, you know, a, someone who even looked remotely like a cop would come by, we'd all kind of like dive down into the grass and look <laughs> look very casual and, you know, hide the camera and everything. It was pretty fun. I know for myself, while everyone else is, you know, all worried and trying to figure out what they're going to do with their character and I'm like, okay, all I have to do is kiss a pretty girl like 10 times in a row. I'm like, I think I'm going to really enjoy working on this. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of just about the first couple episodes in general. I was watching over them, and I was thinking about the introductions to all the characters, and I was thinking about my reveal, which is the, the look up to the window, and I'm very like, what is this show going to be? Like, what are we embarking upon? <laughs> I remember this story that Mitch told me about a web series he was in, and he was having so much fun, and he really enjoyed it. Oh. Needless to say, look at an audition notice, was like, oh, I'm going to go audition for this. So I go to the website, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. It's the same web series he was talking about. And so I'm like, already half an hour late for the audition. And I finally get there and I run in. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Please, I I'll just leave now if you don't want me to do this. Uh, and so then they're like, no, 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 just read. It's fine. And then I read and I was like so flustered and I just did it. And I was like, that was the worst audition I've ever done in my life. And then the next day they're like, you got it. And I was like, great. <laughs> we actually, we did audition together. We had a callback together. And I was like, oh my God, she's, she's intense. I like her. And, um, and I remember we were going over, over the sides and I think you said, I feel a lot more comfortable with Aster. And I was like, I feel a lot more comfortable with Vivian. Yeah, that is, that's like a funny thing that I've told people before too. I'm like, yeah, we were both up for both parts. Wouldn't that have been weird? You know, like, I, you know, it doesn't, it almost feels like wrong now, but yeah, right. t totally. Um, I felt so much more in tune with Aster, and I mean, she's obviously so much more in tune with Vivian, so it just worked out really well. You didn't think I'd let you go that easy, did you? I hope not. to go or I never will. Okay. Go. <laughs> See you soon. Yeah, you will. That dynamic is, is very much, Aster is the passionate one who, you know, and I think it's, you know, it's the sexiness of it is in that, is in that sort of ah, devil may care type of thing. And I think that that is, that's absolutely one of the things that attracts Vivian to, to Aster and, and most people, I think, to, yeah. to that personality. <laughs> hey girls, breakfast is on. We'll be down in a minute. God, I just had sex in my aunt's house. I know, I was there. Does it show? Oh, it shows. We better get dressed. Don't you want to shower? What episode is it where you guys do um, your PA announcement? I was so, like, affected by it. Hey. hey. So, what should I say? Just give a shout out about the play. <clears throat> um, here's a little shout out to y'all. It was so intimate. 
because you just pictured these high school kids in this like little room and yeah. and just like the way like they were talking quietly and they would like lean in and do their <laughs> so sweet and it made me so excited That's to so see what funny. happened let me just say the first time i met josh I was like, I just remember thinking, well, this isn't going to be difficult at all <laughs> because he is charming and just the sweetest, sweetest, most respectful man. And um, I just have such a blast working with him. And so those scenes are really sweet. It really does take me back yeah. to to high school. Like, I remember that feeling, the butterflies in your stomach, you know, and being sort of clumsy. I think that's what's so funny about Elizabeth. She's so clumsy and and you know, just really likes him a lot, genuinely, in a really sweet way. What was everybody's favorite scene to shoot? To shoot? Yeah, to shoot or to or to then watch. Um, that was, that's definitely <laughs> two different things. I, just the very first episode when we were sitting on the stairs, just kind of sets the tone for the dynamic with the characters. And also, I, you know, I think we click really well just yeah. working together. So it, that was a, a great thing to kick off with. My uh, my favorite scene to shoot, though, was probably the one where you kept changing outfits in, in episode four. I, I know it's not really your scene, but there'll probably be some people from school you know there. Okay, would you think like a girl for a moment, not like my girlfriend? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just all in one package here. As far as watching, I like watching everyone else's scenes because I don't get to watch it when it happens. Yeah. Like, I would love to be right next to the camera and like see it in action. So when it's done, I'm as eager as everyone that watched the show for the episode to come out mm -hmm. so I can see it. Yeah. 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 My favorite scene to shoot was the locker scene, um, which is really funny because we had to get the timing right. We were constantly like trying to figure out like if I was walking too fast, I was walking too slow. And when when we shot it, I actually did like hit the locker. Like I remember Tina being like, it looks so real. And I'm like, that's because it was real. Like I literally bumped right into it. Um, but it was just a lot of fun. And I also love that that's really the first time I open up to him about something I'm afraid of, about being worried, about being good. Oh, oh my God, are you okay? Uh, I'm such a mess. Oh, my fault. I should have looked both ways before opening the door. I was concentrating on my lines. Yeah, I'm pretty oblivious when I draw. <laughs> but you don't bump into things. I tend to trip. It's not pretty. It's just, I can't not be good in this. You will be. You don't know. I guess not. People expect things. I gotta bring it, you know? Yeah. I think it's really sweet. It's the beginning of a friendship that's deeper than just a little crush. So I think one of my favorite uh, scenes to to watch and work on, I kind of have two, and I'm always difficult like this, but um, one of the, I guess, most fun ones was the, the, ep the episode you and I rode the bike on. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, you know how many times have, I, I don't, I can't remember the last time I rode a bike, but let alone a low rider bike, right? <laughs> and having somebody in the back. I mean, that's yeah. that's tough. For all you guys out there who 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 saw that, it wasn't easy, right? It was not easy. White knuckling that boy. <laughs> I had a very different experience shooting seven and eight, um, because all of a sudden, like, I was like, oh, there's the character. There she is. And now, and I, I loved, I loved the, I love the writing on all the episodes, but I loved the writing on those episodes. I think the best so far. And although the, on the production side, it was they were difficult scenes to shoot because it was freezing cold and we were outside and there were things going wrong and blah, blah, blah. like it wasn't an easy shoot, but I felt more more connected. I think to those scenes than any that I've shot before. Obviously, you're not here to convince me to stay. Nice. Wow, that's just great. You can't expect things to be the way they were for us in the city. It's a different world here. No, it's not that different. You have the same choices, you're just choosing differently. No, I'm not. I just need time to figure this out. Why can't you see that? Because it sucks seeing it from the outside, Vivian. And that's what I am now, an outsider. No, you're not. You'll never be. 
just to admit things have changed. You've changed. And so it was just like exciting on that level. And it was also like taking stock of how far we'd come. Um, so that was really cool. It's amazing the writing is so economical. You know, that you, you shoot these short little scenes and yet I think we can all really track an amazing amount of, of development and who the characters are and yeah. we get more information with every episode and I think that's like an a asset that the show has. When we shot like the final scene, episode eight, in the cafe, I mean that that was not that was two lines, one each, you know. And I felt like just with that one line, like something had happened. Hey, like some company? Sure. And on another topic, this is the first time for me, and probably the first time for most of us, that we've had the chance to stay with a character yes. and develop a character for an extended period of time. Um, and it's just been so much fun. Yeah, definitely in episodes seven and eight, I think there's the most, I guess, drama with every group that's going on in the show. I know Sophie and I, <laughs> we finally like have it out instead of little arguments, walk away. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it goes down in those episodes to the point where you can't just go back to the status quo from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just every relationship is really building up to the point where I'm like, we need to start the next season immediately so we can yeah. know what's going to go on. Yeah, it's easy to, to relate because I came from a small white community. So all the things that I, that Archibald deals with, it's, it's easy to call back to. I mean, it's, it's so easy. And um, as a matter of fact, one of the characters that, that I get into to it with um, in one of the scenes, he antagonizes me. It reminds me of one of, one of my, uh, my old high school uh, bullies. He was an older guy. I mean, he didn't pick on me, but he kind of did. I mean, he didn't, we didn't fight, but it was just funny because in, the, in, the, uh, in one of the scenes, it was easy to recall, and I kind of got, kind of got angry a little bit. You know? <laughs> hey, look, it's Picasso. Did you, uh, did you kind of draw more of the student body? You're not a big homo, are you, Archibald? Cause I saw you up in the bleachers yesterday, drawing your little pictures of us while we were getting all sweaty on the court. Get off me, man. Until you're exposed to it, sometimes you just don't know. And I think that a show like this can can open people's eyes, and it should. I mean, and we should have this, you know, because you know whether it's the color of your skin or the way you are, you know, your sexual orientation, it doesn't matter. You know, you should be cool because you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, I gotta get going. I gotta catch a train back to the city. Oh, you, uh, you going to see your boyfriend? Girlfriend? Really? Hey, it's cool. Is it? Isn't it? <laughs> what, you don't <laughs> think we have gay people around here? Do you? That's why the show is so important, because it's about acceptance. It's not about one thing or another. It's about accepting each other for our differences. That's what makes us so beautiful. Yeah. That's how we learn from each other. Prompted by a question that my mother act asked me. Uh, my mother, who is, like, very supportive and, and really cool and, and, you know, fairly comfortable, though the... the <laughs> Like the tagline before she tells anybody about the show is just so you know there are girls kissing in this <laughs> show, so you know you have to put that out there. But what's been kind of cool? First of all, when she first saw the, when she saw the first episode, she said, um, "She goes, oh wow, it's it's really interesting that Vivian's dad didn't even blink when they kissed." And that was such a, it was something that fans picked up on. It was something we all picked up on. It was it, it was so cool to hear from you know, my parents' generation picking up on that. Um, and I think, you know, it's a really important show in that way because I keep kind of trying to explain to her and to, to other adults and whatnot that this is the way things are now. Mm -hmm. This is the way things are. It's not even, you know, yeah, we have like, our, you know, specific parts of the country that are more liberal than others and all, you know, you're just going to have that no matter what. Um, but in terms of our generation, it's like, even those who have kind of a problem with it, I feel like it's more like, all right, live and let live, whatever. Um, that's almost the worst of it that you get on in any normal basis. 
Um, and I, I don't know. I think that's so exciting. And bringing that to the surface, I think, is incredibly important, not only for our generation, but just to represent our generation. So I think it's something so great and such a difference about us.